told you we'd move quick. Uh, we have moved quickly. Uh, I'll tell you that Coach House and I uh, had, have had many, many discussions, uh, and we had no doubt in our mind uh, that the person that needed to be the next leader of this football program uh, was Coach Will Burn. So at this time. <laughs> We, uh, in order to protect uh, classroom time and stuff, we wanted to let you know right now, Coach Burns going to talk to you for a little while. He'll go to fourth period. Next week in Star Group, we got a club day, and he'll talk more about what he wants to do in the future and that kind of thing. So, Coach Burns, congratulations. All right, first of all, uh, like Coach said, uh, next week, during Star Group, I'll talk to you more about some of the things we're going to do. Um, but I want to thank Coach Hauser and Mr. Bliss uh, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I'm very humbled and, and honored to be your football coach. Um, I got to see uh, Tom Brown last night, and uh, it was. for him to have the confidence in me and, and just say, you know, be yourself. Uh, told myself I wouldn't get emotional. You guys know I would. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I also want to thank Coach Snyder. I know he's not here um, he's on the beach, but he's a great man. I think you know that uh, he cared about you. He cared about people. Uh, and I just thank him for giving me the opportunity. Four years ago, when he took the job, I did apply for it. Uh, no, I probably wasn't ready for it. And um, so he called me and said, hey, how would you like to be the offensive coordinator? And I feel, you know, to prove yourself, maybe you can be the next head coach. I said, yeah, great. I mean, this is home to me. You guys know, if you don't know, I played here. My dad was defense coordinator here. You guys all know that. Hopefully you did anyway. Um, so when he gave me that opportunity, I'm very grateful for that. He gave me a lot of leeway, as you know, pretty much running the offense the way I want to do it, pretty much doing the way from the way I want to do it. So I'm very uh, fortunate and thankful for him allow me to grow as a coach and do that. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about how lucky you are, how lucky we are to be in such a great school, great community, um, administration. We've got the best administration. We've got Coach Bliss, the head basketball coach, was the offense coordinator. you got Coach Hauser, the AD, the head, head uh, baseball coach. Miss James, they're very supportive of, of us. And you know that they're at all the events. Um, they want to see you succeed. Uh, Coach Bliss is always Monday morning asking how we did. You know he's on the sidelines, down the end zone every game because he, you know, he wants to be in the action. Um, community, I mean, you know, church is feeding us every Friday. Um, the, the schedule is already set on who's feeding us what day. For next year that they're lined up they want to feed you and it nothing out of our pocket it's out of their pocket they care about you and us um, booster club best booster club around I mean we got 20 guys that volunteer to blow up the helmet so we can run through the smoke why they do that one half of them played here and they just want to be right there in the action. And that's why they do it. Nick's brother comes back to do it. And hopefully some of you guys will come back, you know, and still be a part. Uh, coaches. In my opinion, it's the best coaching staff I've ever been a part of. I've been on some staffs that had really good defensive coordinators, great, you know, but as far as the staff, they're like brothers to me. I think you guys see that and saw that in practice. 
I'm excited about being, you know, the GOAT guy. And I think I counted seven of the nine that we got right now played here. They care about you. There's, they don't have egos. They want to do what's best for you and for Maiden football. That's what it's all about. Um, my vision for Maiden football the next 20, 25 years would be that we, one, that I am here for that long, but we win multiple conference championships, maybe a few state championships, and maybe the next head football coach is maybe it's one of you, or a former player, maybe a future player. That's my vision for the rest of my career, as long as I'll have it. Um, and that being said, we want to produce young men of great character. And that's just some of the things we'll talk about next week, get into that, and of how we're going to do that. Um, at the end, I'll kind of tell you one of the things so you can start thinking about that so you're ready for next Thursday. Um, but my vision for 2016, I don't think anybody would disagree with me, um, is a state championship. And if you think that's not possible, then this is probably not where you need to be. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. And again, we'll talk about that more next week. But I did want to tell you a story on how I think we can make that possible. My first two years coaching football at Tiger High School, 2006, 2007. Some of you I've talked a little bit about the players. We had a great player named Eric Breitenstein. You guys know what we're talking about makeup is, right? They're a type of kid from scrimmage. Some of you freshmen may not know. Those two years, his junior and senior year, we went to the fourth round of the 4A state playoffs in back-to-back -back years. We didn't do it because of Eric Breitenstein. We did it because the other people on the team bought in to their role, whatever it may have been, and the old saying, pulling, everybody's pulling on the rope in the same direction, it still, to me, carries a lot of weight. So, you got great players, you got good players, you got average players, practice players, let's be realistic, that's what we got. Find a role, buy into that role. Okay? You're a great player, be humble when you get the accolade. Okay? If you're a role player, don't be envy 